you are going to see the supernatural provision of God. When you don't have food, food is going to appear on the table. Where God is going to supernaturally delete your bills. Where God is going to save you for circles, from situations that you will know that only God could preserve you. And God tells me that this is the season for the evangelist to arise. You that have failed the call of God to minister, you don't have to wait for a stage or for television to minister. God says, preach my gospel and my signs and wonders will follow you and the harvest of souls in America will come and you're going to see once again the days of revival come on this land and not 20 years from now but even in this year God is calling out the evangelists to arise and to proclaim the gospel with miracle signs and wonders because this is the season for the glory of God to shine and the world is going to know that Jesus the Savior is alive and well and I pray right now I believe that's coming now, let me tell you something. <laughs> let every man be a liar, but God's word is true. All of God's promises for you are yes. They're yes and amen. So forget the failures of the past. Look towards the Messiah. New dedication, new hunger in Yeshua's name. Done. There are many voices warning what might happen in the future. Many of these voices are at odds with one another. The secular news media and most of the prophetic voices today are predicting gloom and doom. Rich Vera was compelled by the Holy Spirit to go on a 21-day fast, where the Lord revealed to him that God's prophetic countdown has begun. Now, Rich Vera reveals God's shocking plan of hope for your future and the future of the world. Literally, I was caught up in the Spirit and shown things that are going to come for the world, the body of Christ, that's going to bless your life in an awesome, awesome way. Call now and get Rich Vera's anointed five-part audio CD, Prophetic Countdown Series, The Final Countdown, God's shocking plan of hope for your future, exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 2086. The glory of the Lord was heavy. I seen generation of curses broken. Uh, I seen people coming into breakthroughs. I see people coming into financial breakthroughs because the agenda of God, when it's revealed to men, it blesses every area of the person that's receiving it. God has the best intentions towards your life. On this powerful five-part audio CD prophetic countdown series, Rich Vera shares some of the most extensive and eye-opening prophetic revelation ever revealed. The Lord has disclosed many of God's plans for the future of America and specific nations of the world. Rich Vera traveled in the spirit to the White House, where God revealed many details about what is happening behind the scenes in government and politics. Some of the things covered in this timely five-part audio CD prophetic countdown series are God's prophetic plan for many nations of the world, including Cuba, India, and America, even specific states and cities of America. The coming revival within the Catholic Church, which will lead to multitudes getting saved. The discovery of a new source for fuel, technological innovations, and new ways of communication. Cures for illness, including Alzheimer's and cancer. The truth behind Obama's presidency. Donald Trump's prophetic significance in helping to shape the 2016 presidential election. The major revival that will affect our public schools. The soon coming expose of false prophets. The keys to supernatural provision in the times ahead for you and your family. I know, I know from the Lord that as you listen to the series, you're going to come into a place where the spirit world is going to open to you and the prophetic is going to come out and it's going to impart revelation, it's going to impart insights and it's going to impart fresh downloads of the anointing upon your life. The mysteries should not be mysteries for God's children. Get this exclusive five CD set. It was made just for you in our studios. We have it on an exclusive basis. Final countdown, because that's where we are. God's shocking plan of hope for your future. Don't miss out on getting Rich Vera's anointed five-part audio CD prophetic countdown series. The final countdown. God's shocking plan of hope for your future. Exclusive to our It's Supernatural TV audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 2086. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 2086 or log on to Sid Roth. Call or write today. 
next week on It's Supernatural. My friend has a revelation from God. He has found the game changer where you win every time. I want him to teach you this revelation. of the spirit that I'm expecting things to happen that they've never thought of. I'm expecting you to have an amazing encounter with God. Two of the three prophets, when they were previously on my shows, prophesied with 100% accuracy anyone interested in finding out what they see for 2017 the events of last year 2016 have ushered in dramatic changes and uncertainty politically economically and concerning the ongoing challenges facing america israel and the world what does this year 2017 hold for you and your loved ones. ISN, the It's Supernatural online TV network, God TV, and GEB America TV networks join together to bring you this exclusive live prophetic TV event, 2017 Prophetic Outlook. Joining Sid Roth are three prominent prophetic voices, Perry Stone, Cindy Jacobs, and Rich Vera. They will share what God has revealed to them and how you can be prepared to overcome every obstacle that has kept you from receiving the full promises and blessings of God in your life. And now, here's your host, Sid Roth. and viewers, as well as our broadcast partners, GB America, God TV, and for the very first time, METV covers all of Israel, the entire Middle East. We are joined by viewers from right here in America, as well as Europe, Spain, Ireland, Scandinavia, Asia, India, Africa, uh, the entire Middle East, Australia, New Zealand, Israel, and so much more. Thank you. Now, many of you, you. Now, you, you can applaud at, at, at home, too. You're not applauding me. You're applauding God. So are you ready to hear what God has for 2017? Many of you sent us questions, and it's amazing. Most of your questions we were going to talk about anyway. So God preempted you. You're really ready to know what's going to happen in 2017? (laughs) Well, Cindy, I am personally very, very intrigued on the gift of prophecy, especially a prophetess. Um, And I always ask a question. Was there someone in your family that prophesied? You know, Sid, my dad was a Baptist pastor, so we wouldn't have called it that, but he did prophesy. You know, when he was preaching, he would give like a word, and all that there are people there that, you know, you have all these packs of cigarettes in your pockets, and they rush to the front, you just pour them out of their pockets until, you know, they were spilling over. But we didn't know how he knew that. But, you know, he had the gift of prophecy. And you had that from a very early age at, at um, uh, was it uh, three? Four. Four? Yeah. Close. Yeah. What happened at four? Well, uh, my dad was in seminary in Fort Worth, 
And uh, I went to my mother and I said, Mom, I'm going to have a little baby sister. And she said, well, no, we're not having any more children. I said, no, I'm going to have a little sister. And she why, was why pregnant. Were you, why were you so sure you were going to have a little sister? I knew. I okay. guess it was a gift of faith. You know, I mean, she was. She, yes. she didn't know she was pregnant. She wasn't visibly pregnant. And actually, I was always kind of an unusual child. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, people would call the house, and I'd look at the phone when it was ringing, and I'd say, oh, so-and-so died. You know, I mean, I knew, you know, I was having dreams, and it was very unique. Some of them, you know, like I'd had, one time I had a visions of hell, you know, and, mm. and I, 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 at night after I dreamed about hell, what it looked like, and I would just, I was 12, and I would just get up and pace the floor. I didn't want anybody to go there, you know, and it's so real. And uh, so, you know, that gift just grew as time Well, went at on. nine... You really had a heartfelt prayer to God. You were at a, mm -hmm. a, a camp, a right. Christian camp. What did you pray? Well, the teacher said, go sit on a rock and let God talk to you. I did, and he did, you know. <laughs> and, he, and, uh, and what he said was, you know, uh, I have something for you to do. You know, he, in other words, there was a calling there. But, you know, Sid, it wasn't in my paradigm. You know, I went forward, gave my life for world missions. But, you know, I couldn't do most of the things those little boxes said. But I could go preach in Africa. And so I gave my life, you know, for world missions. But I know it was a call in the nations. And, and then, 21 years later, God answered that prayer of what you were supposed to do. But it wasn't the way you thought it would be. Here, you're married with a couple of kids. Uh, and, and what does God say to you? Yeah, well, he's, then he said, I want, to, I want to use you to preach all over the world. And I thought, that was a pizza dream. You know, I'm 30, I have little children. I, and besides, nobody knows me, you know. In fact, somebody might be you know, in their home and, and saying the same thing. Well, you know, something's happening to me. I think God wants to use me. Well, I was in a little town in Texas, and God found me and opened all these doors. I mean, fast. I went from preaching almost nowhere to churches of 5,000 members, you know, for their women's groups and a lot of things like that. So God was in a hurry. Now, one of the first words uh, that you heard when God was in the process of teaching you obedience was probably a little scary for you. It, it involved a Jewish person. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? <laughs> Wouldn't you know? Yeah, I, 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 one day I was driving the street, felt I should go buy a light fixture. There was this little obscure store, and I went in, and they had beautiful fixtures. And I said to the man, oh, you're having a big sale. You know, the owner, uh, why are you selling out everything? He said, well, I am very, very ill. I mean, like to the point of death. And so I said, oh, I'm so sorry. But, you know, I didn't know that God wanted to separate, to, to accelerate sorry into supernatural. And uh, so I started to leave, and the Holy Spirit said, I want you to go pray for him. I'm going, I want you to heal him. And, you know, my kids, I thought, oh, my Lord, you know, they're going to tear the place apart while I'm trying to lay hands on somebody. You know, I mean, you have to be very gifted to get a hold of, you know, a five and a whatever, three-year-old and hold him in place, you know. Very supernatural. Yeah, it, that, that that was probably one of the most supernatural things of the day. So I prayed for this Jewish guy, and he thanked me. I left. Months later, I was driving down the road, and I noticed his store was open. And I went in, and I said, how are you? And he said, are you the one? Are you? That little mother, think about that, that little mother that prayed. And he said, God healed me. And it was so wonderful. You know, what can, what can one little mother do? Come on, we can change the world. Amen. You know, there are people watching right now, and you're saying, I wish I could hear God's voice uh, as well as Cindy. Cindy, you have such a passion that came from God to help people hear God's voice. Can everyone hear God's voice? Yes. You know, we believers, when we come to know the Lord, 
and we ask the Holy Spirit to empower us, everyone can hear God's voice. There's no junior-sized Holy Spirit. God lives big in all of us. And I think this is one of the things people think, well, there's big superstars up there, right. and then there's little me. And, you know, I'm just never going to be anything but little me. I think the difference is, with me and maybe some of them, I wanted to let the 